Hype Hunters back again with another video. Caleb here. I'm John. What we were looking to do in this video, a little bit of just a PSA sub review for you guys, what we're going to be sending into PSA ourselves. Uh, mainly our cards, but we also have a few of our friends' cards. So, And then also just a little tip for you guys on how to stay organized. What you want to do is just kind of like write down your cards you know and the date that you're sending them in because psa right now you know just so backlogged and jammed up like we've talked about you don't really know uh, you have an estimation of when you're going to get your cards back but just to be safe you want to have some information on hand you know type it out or whatever but especially, just make sure especially if you're going through a third party because yep. they're they that's another hand that could maybe end up losing your cards. So yep. just want to make sure everything's organized and that your cards are all where you want them to be. Yep, so really easy guys, just write them down. Like I said, that's really it. Um, and then here we go. So we're just gonna go ahead and just flip around the camera and show you guys what we're sending in. All right guys, so here we are. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, these are mostly my cards, but a couple of my friends. So we have a green LaMelo ball and a green James Wiseman. Uh, gonna send these and hopefully they get at least a nine. I know they're going to go down in value a lot from what they are right now, but that's fine. This Terrence Mann silver card, I'm literally sending this in just because I know that next year in the preseason, he is going to have some insane games again, and I'll just flip it then because it happens every year in the preseason. Like, it happened this year with Taylor Horton Tucker, so it, just trust me on that one. Kobe White, uh, Bull Bull, Carmelo Anthony, this is actually super cool card number to 25 so then i've got some moltres zapdos articuno two of those promo cards from hidden fates uh one of these birds cards uh this gengar and mimikyu yo i struggle with that one shiny eevee <clears throat> this is an awesome card from hidden fates uh the full art shiny noivern gx pretty cool card uh, this Mewtwo GX, not too valuable, but sweet Mewtwo overall. Uh, this Rayquaza, amazing rare that I pulled out of... I think we got Vivid Voltage packs, me and John, actually a crazy story. We each opened like two packs, like release day of Vivid Voltage that we got at Walmart. Like right when we were starting to kind of get into Pokemon and we each pulled a Rayquaza amazing rare. It's like, what? It's <laughs> crazy. Uh, this Aether Foundation employee... And then these are actually my friend Isaiah's cards, so shout out to him. Uh, these three, these next three cards all came out of one Darkness of Blaze booster, so insane. It's really Bloom Gold, the Charizard V, and the Eternatus V Max Rainbow Rare, all out of one booster. Uh, he got this out of Dollar Store Pack. Uh, this is a pretty sweet promo card, Espeon and Deoxys. Gyarados Hollow, he got this out of a Dollar Store Pack. Um, and then these here are my friend Wes's cards, uh, just a Charizard V from Champion's Path. And then this Mew, super badly cut, so he's actually hoping to get the off-cut grade here. So you guys can see that top to bottom is really bad, so... I don't know, I think it's got a really decent chance that front is really bad, so we'll see. Um, and then we got a Flying Pikachu. Uh, Gyarados. These are my friend uh, D'Angelo and Mike. They actually split an ETB and these are the cards they got. So, um, Flying Pikachu, Gyarados, Mewtwo. And then this card is my friend D'Angelo's. It's a nice rose card that he got from his Darkness to Blaze. So now John's going to go ahead. He's going to hop into this stack. That's his cards that he's going to be grading. So here we are. All right, and then hopping straight into my cards. Uh, the first one I plan on getting graded is this John Morant NBA debut. I actually made a trade with Caleb, and this is one of the cards that I got from Caleb. Uh, sweet card, big fan. Uh, this is a Charizard that I actually have had since I was probably seven years old, and it's been it's been kept in pretty good condition. Um, a little bit of whitening here at the top, you can see that might diminish the grade a little bit, but I'm hoping to get around a seven for this card. Uh, and that would be a great grade for me on that one. Um, then I have a Machamp that I picked up for like 15 bucks on eBay. 
Yeah, it has a little bit of hollow scratches, as you can kind of tell, but not bad. It's a first edition, not shadowless, but still really a, a really cool card. A little bit of whitening here at the bottom, which will probably bring down the grade a little bit. But uh, if I could get like an eight or a nine, I'm still going to be happy with that. And this is a Machamp Hollow that is from Evolutions. And I was originally going to sell this card for like $9 on eBay, but I started looking up the population report on PSA. And it turns out that this is a PSA 10 population of three. And I think this is a pretty strong candidate for a PSA 10. The centering looks really good. It's really just gonna come down to that surface on the hollow. Um, and then I think there's a little bit of a mark right there that might take me down to a nine, but I'm really hoping for a 10 on this one. Uh, and then going on to the next, I have a flying Pikachu. Very cool card as well. Uh, Kobe White rookie. I'm not a huge Kobe White fan, but uh, I'll at least get the card and probably flip it for a little bit. Um, probably a good 9, 10 candidate. I have uh, a LeBron base card here as well that I'm looking to get graded. Another 9, 10 candidate. Tyler Hero base rookie. Um, no real good marks on this, so I'm hoping to get a 10 on this one, but I honestly don't really know what those mosaic cards um and then as caleb was talking about with the amazing rare rayquaza i have one as well and i think this is a pretty strong candidate for a 10 no real white marks and the centering looks really good as well um and then getting into some of the bigger cards i have this john morant green that looks really nice hoping to get a 10 that would be great i don't i've never graded a mosaic card so i don't know how easy it is to get a 10 but i'm really hoping that this one comes back a 10. then i also have my mega charizard ex card that i pulled from a canto power box um i think this one's really going to come down to the surface as you can see there's a lot of markings that may impact the grade a lot but uh it, centering looks pretty decent i think um Maybe a little off left or right, but probably still in the category of a 10. Uh, and then my last card is just a Jordan Love rookie card. I pulled this from a Gravity Feed Pack. Um, and uh, we are both, me and Caleb are both from Wisconsin. So Jordan Love, obviously a Packer. So I'll probably just get this one graded and hold on to it for a little bit. Uh, not the best centering on it, but hoping to get a good grade on it. So those are all of our cards. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and hopefully all of these cards come back with great PSA 10 grades. Thank you guys, see ya. Have a good one, bye.